In this video, I'm gonna show you a secret little trick that you can use out of the 245 odd to really put yourself in a very advantageous position against things like trips tied in, bunch tied in, formations that have this kind of alignment. You're gonna see that the, this 245 odd defense is super, super powerful. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And if you're looking to take your game to an even deeper level, like I said, we're talking about the 245 odd. You can find this defense in the Chicago playbook. Um, I've got a full, uh, my Patreon, I would really encourage you to join that. And the reason why is because that's where I put all of my eBooks. So I've got 12 eBooks uh, already over there. I've got two or three more on the way over the course of the next week or two. Um, some really new offenses that really I haven't seen a lot of people using. And I think you're going to really enjoy some of those offenses. It's a little bit different than the bunch, but it's just as a effective in my opinion um, but that being said by joining the patreon you get unlimited access to everything you get every every offensive ebook every defense ebook every exclusive tip you get a private message uh, messaging uh, feature where you can ask your questions and things like that um, you can comment on all the posts and then people can help you out and all that stuff so uh, if you want to really uh, dive deep into this game I would really encourage you to join the patreon it's on it, it's just ten dollars a month and you can cancel that whenever you would like to. So you don't have to sign up for a year or anything like that. It's just 10 bucks a month. And as long as your subscription is active, you get access to everything. So I would really encourage you uh, to join the Patreon. Now, that being said, guys, I'm really excited to share this video with you. Um, and the reason why is because I think you're going to learn a lot about Trips Tied In. Uh, I think Trips Tied In, this is just my opinion. Uh, I think Trips Tied In is very underrated this year. I think the reality is Bunch is what most people run. Probably about 80% of pro players, maybe 80, maybe 90% of pro players are in the Gun Bunch offense. But there's a couple of really good players in this game. One of my favorites to uh, study is Spam and Buttons. Another one that I really, um, uh, actually really, really enjoy studying is Henry uh, as well. And they are both in, you know, Henry runs a lot of Bunch Tied In. Um, spam and runs a lot of trips tied in and trips tied in and bunch tied in are very similar in terms of the way the blocking works so uh, that being said um, spam and likes to use pa counter go part of the reason why is because um, it has very good blocking and so we're going to show you in this video um, what you can do out of this two four five odd with a secret play that you can use to get some really cool alignment. So uh, I wanna show you kind of what happens. Most people like to run the pinch two, right? So um, if I just come out and pinch two, you're gonna see here that, and I've talked a little bit about this, I can move this guy out, but for the most part, like it's not that good. You're gonna see here that pinch two against this, I'm gonna be able to block it for the most part and I'm gonna be able to hit my crossing route and, and it's gonna be that way, right? Let me show it to you again. Um, you know, we'll just do kind of the standard setup here out of PA counter go. That time I got I got blitz, but for the most part, again, for the most part, you're going to be able to uh, pick this blitz up. You know, I might need to cancel the play action. But see, they just kind of dumb out. And obviously, I'm getting sacked, but um, I've got, but that's off shed, right? And, and in practice mode, you know, if, if they're shedding you like that in practice mode, you know, in game, they're, it's really not likely that they're going to shed you that bad. But as you see here, Completely picks up the blitz, and I can throw it, right? The big problem with bunch tight end and trips tight end is, is this. They have a tight end and the running back on the same side. So what we want to do defensively is we want to be able to take advantage of that. And unfortunately, um, you know, especially with someone like Spamming that's really got his pass protection down, it's not necessarily super easy to do that, okay? Um, as you can see right here, if I were to block, like if I were to block the tight end, right, and let's just say I send this pressure off the left. Watch what the running back does. See how he sits there, and he'll he'll pick up the blitz from the left, and then I've got my tight end to pick up the blitz from the right, right? Okay. So very good blocking mechanic. The major issue is that we're trying to blitz them off of a side where they can block two players, right? That's the biggest challenge, in my opinion, with trips tied in. So that being said, um, the, the solution essentially is to – um, try to blitz it off the left side. So what you could do, and I'll show you real quick out of pinch two, um, is you could flip your play. 
All right, and I've already talked about this before on the channel. You can flip your play, and what you'll see now is your blitzer is going to stand right there. You've got a vert hook that's going to go up the field, and now you're free to just kind of use her right in here. Now, this is all a this is a decent way to play, and actually, it's not terrible. You'll see here though. I still don't get that good of pressure. I have to shed and sack. Why? Because for whatever reason, trips tight end picks it up. I don't know why. Uh, I pass committed. I did everything that I was supposed to do right. But for whatever reason, uh, trips tight end. Even though we're sending, uh, we're only sending or blocking one player. Um, you know, we're able to pick pretty much for the most part up this pressure, and we can throw our crosser. Okay. So that's only part A of the solution. Part B, and what I'm really excited to show you with you is this alignment that you get from only one play that I know of. Uh, in this formation, and I've talked about it. I think in the ebook I talk about it a lot, and we kind of build around it. Um, so if you want to learn more about it, again, just get the guide or get the Patreon because that gets you everything. But LB Cross Three Show Two will give you a different alignment. I don't know why. I really don't know. I can't really explain it. But for whatever reason, if you were to come out in LB Cross Three Show Two, take a look at the alignment you get. You see that this guy right here is that blitzer. Now again, if I'm in Cover Four, take a look at where he's at. You see here, he is over here on this side, right? But if I'm an LB cross, he's on this side where I can send him off the weak side, right? So what I can do is I could go ahead and you know spread my line, crash my line to the right, globally bliss all my linebackers, and then I still have two flat defenders, as you can see, and then my user is free to come over here, uh, which is a good position to be in for the inside zone, good position to be in for a lot of different things, right? And I'm going to pass commit. And now what you're going to see is this PA counter go is not is not typically going to be able to uh, pick up this pressure right there. We got a little bit of a weird look, but again, I'll show you um, if we contain. Whoops, I did not mean to flip it. Um, I did not mean to flip that. Sorry about that. Um, but you'll see here, you know, most of the time this thing will come in completely free. You don't even have to do anything. You just blitz him. Um, so we'll show it to you one more time, and then if it gets picked up, we'll talk about why. Uh, PA counter go is the best blocking that you can get. But as you see, see that, see how the running back glitches? That's what I'm talking about, right? You see how that running back kind of glitches out just like that. That's what we're looking for. And again, all you have to do, and you can, um, you know what? Let me show you this way to do it. So if I just right stick to the right, yeah, yeah. So if I hit right on the D pad and I hit right stick to the right. It'll bliss a linebacker right off the right edge. So you don't have to like do the couple extra clicks. It'll save you a little bit of time here. Uh, but what's really cool is this is such a good blitz angle. Okay, it's such a good blitz angle. And what you should see here is that running back should go to the right. And as you see, you're going to get instant pressure. So to me, this is a really, really big deal. Why? Because we're going to we're going to be able to guarantee our, our pressure. Um, let me show you another situational uh, type, type thing. So let's say they... Um, you know, some, uh, some blitzes are really easily picked up if you block your tight end. So I'm just going to block the tight end and show you again. This is where we can really take advantage of this overload that we have here. As you can see, your looping, your looping pressure will oftentimes cause a significant amount of problems for the running back. And then the beauty of this is that your um, your other pressure with that loot or that edge rusher uh, will be very, very good for you in terms of that. So I'm going to block the running back here, and you should see that time we did get picked up. Uh, but for the most part, I will say this comes in probably 80 to 85% of the time. We have uh, we kind of expanded on this concept uh, in the ebook, and we kind of break down it a little bit more in depth and kind of explain uh, some of the ins and outs of it here. Let me see if I can move this. I don't know why my. The other thing you can do is you can also move him too, uh, which is really cool. So then if I were to move him, now when I audible, you see here it does keep his own, but now you're free to, you know, now you're free to do whatever, right? Because now, and the beauty of this is now you have a slot corner over there, so you're not going to get seam streaked. One of the things that used to almost always happen to me whenever I play uh, trips tied in is I get seam streaked out of my face. Why? Well, because of the alignment. Now I've got a really good alignment for the run. I've got a really good alignment for the pass. And, you know, I can send some simple, um, you know, simple three, five man concepts and still be able to play coverage off of that as well. Um, one of the things I think that's really underrated about 245i that most people don't know is this alignment that you can get out of trips tied in. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you want to learn more about the 
if you want to learn more about the 245 odd, I would really, really encourage you uh, to go ahead and grab the Patreon. As you can see here, this blitz absolutely screams, especially if they send five out. Uh, but we've got even better stuff in the Patreon for you. So make sure to join that. Again, that's on sale for 10 bucks a month. Uh, for 10 bucks a month, you get instant access to everything, every ebook, every tip, everything that comes out, everything that's already out. So literally just 10 bucks and get you everything. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys over at the Patreon.